Shut up. I'm not paying attention to you. I'm paying attention to that one. Thanks for stopping by, guys. It's out here playing some more scrap mechanic. Um, this time around, instead of just showing the creation itself, I'm going to show the iterations it took. Simply because the end factor, or the end, I guess to say, end product, in my opinion, is a bit boring. It's really cool, but it's really boring. So I'm going to go through the steps it went in its life cycle. Um, this is a walker, a four-legged walker, which I need to reset because I was testing it, and I'd never reset it. Come on. Go in there. There we go. Um, it, no, you aren't supposed to see those yet. Eh, probably should have set this up a bit better because this is not working out. Um, it uses a similar time mechanism to the Nomad Walker, and the legs that it uses are like this. Um, while it's walking, the way it works, uh, I might as well show the front. The front's easier to explain. So as it drags back 15, 15, 15, 15, then it, uh, that last 15 is what picks it up off the ground. The whole leg moves all the way forward again, and then it goes back incrementally, slowly, the 30, 30, 30. Then it goes all the way back, and it kind of... I guess the, the best way I can explain it is think like the old typewriters, and you know, you'd hit a key, you hit key, 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 and then you slam it back to the beginning. It is kind of what the leg is doing. It steps through all its steps and then it goes all the way back to the beginning and just repeats them. So it slams. Uh, I'm looking at this far leg, far front leg. So it uh, steps back, 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 lifts up, and then it shoots forward. Steps back, 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 lifts up, and then it shoots forward again. Um, but as you can tell, this is extremely slow. Um, and it wouldn't be practical for a movie, an actual vehicle. It's kind of cool, yes, but it's not worth the time it'd take to move. So then came the second iteration, which is back here. <laughs> and it is absolutely massive. Um, the idea behind this was longer legs will have a bigger stride, which means it'll move faster. Which is the case, it does move considerably faster, but the legs are just so large and this thing is so unbalanced that it doesn't walk well. I might revisit this and make a larger version that is a practical vehicle. But as you can see, the legs use the exact same motion just on a larger scale. And this one I can turn slowly. Very slowly. So I'm gonna hop out of this. So my thought process was, well, on a scale this big, yes, it could be used as a vehicle, but it's very um, odd of a vehicle. I, don't, I wouldn't see any reason to use it. It's very awkward. It's very unproportional, and I don't like it like that. So I wanted to use this, but I couldn't use it as a vehicle. So what could I use it for? Um, so I decided to put an AI on it. Um, this is a bit of a cross between the Radar AI and the um, Wander AI. And when I turn it on, uh, this turns on the walk cycle and then this turns on the actual AI. And when I get in front of it, it'll step away from me. Oh, it'll turn. There you go. Um, it's a bit unbalanced, which isn't a problem. I don't know why it is. The other versions aren't unbalanced, but oh well. So, I decided this would be its final form and that I just needed to decorate it a bit. So I threw that there, and I went to decorating it, which that is not supposed to be on there. And this is what it came out to be. It became like this uh, Black Widow AI, I guess you'd call it. So if I turn it on, it'll start walking. Let me get out of its way before it starts freaking out. Shut up. I'm not paying attention to you. I'm paying attention to that one. So it'll slowly come out of its cage and then it'll walk towards us. Um, I'm trying to think. 
Um, yes, I remember what I was going to say. I did record this on a time lapse so you could see it walking um, over long distances. It is extremely slow, uh, but I'll talk more about it when I get to it. Why is it? Oh, it's, be it's because it detects that there's nothing here, so it's trying to turn. So I'm going to actually grab you off your pedestal and turn you back on. There we go. So just to look at its walking mechanism. So I think now I'm going to go ahead and cut to the uh, time lapse I made. Uh, note about the time lapse, it is at five times speed. So this creation is extremely slow. Um, while I was recording it, I pretty much just put a seat on top, let it walk and let it record and I left my room because it, the entire time lapse took about, I think it was like 45 minutes to record just so I'd have a decent enough, uh, uh, just so I'd have enough footage to actually time lapse it and it could actually move somewhere because it is ungodly slow. I can't emphasize that enough. Um, it makes all my other walkers look fast. Um, <laughs> that's not a joke, it's true. But uh, at some point in the video, you'll see the mouse jitter. That's when I came back to check on it and make sure it was still recording. And I accidentally bumped the mouse. So that's why that's there. I think the rest of the video will just be the time lapse, so I'll let it run.
Okay, with the time lapse out of the way, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here. Uh, if you liked the episode, please leave a like. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, please leave them down in the comments below. Uh, if you like the channel and like to see more of this, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. Until next time, this has been Al playing Scrap Mechanic with my little AI spider. Peace.